Here in Turkey, a university famous for its science programs has designed a machine that can separate carbon dioxide, one of the main greenhouse gases, from various gas compositions. It's hoped this so-called membrane technology, which could also be used for water treatment, could be put to large-scale use against the climate crisis. Membrane technology sounds extremely scientific, but can you break down for us exactly what it is and how it works? Uh, membrane technology has a tremendous importance in chemical technology as well, and it is used uh, for uh, in it is used in a broad range of application from. Uh, water treatment, gas separation, to dye separation, and pharmaceutical separation as well nowadays. Membrane is a semi-permeable material which allows to uh, permeate the one component and reject the others. Therefore, separation takes place. We generally use uh, driving forces for the separation, like pressure difference, temperature difference, or concentration difference. Um, in, mem in membrane technology, two properties are important in order to define that our membrane works well. One of them is the gas permeability, the other is the gas selectivity. If we have a high gas permeable membranes, which means that we can uh, uh, have a low investment and operation cost, which will decrease the required membrane area and the required driving forces. If we have a high selective membranes, which this means that we will end up with a high purified gas gases. Therefore, uh, compared to the other well-known um, separation gas separation technologies, membrane technology uh, has some uh, many advantages like uh, low cost investment. Uh, environmentally friendly features, ability to be used uh, as a combined version with the other um, separation techniques, etc. Talk about this large machine behind you. What does it do? This is a central lab in Institute of Nanotechnology. We characterize the nanomaterials that we uh, synthesize for different type of application, not specific for membrane technology. There are some SEM image um, equipment, TEM, um, XPS, different type of equipments uh, that are here. And uh, the one behind me is you combine them. It's a homemade machine, a combi combined whole uh, type of uh, equipment that will be used here. What types of applications can membrane technology be used for? Membrane technology can be used in a variety of applications. There are well-known applications as well. For example, um, it is used in food industry for the manufacturing of dairy products. And also it can be used in automotive industry uh, for the recovery of electro-painting bags. And well-known examples are the um, uh, use in water treatment, like reverse osmosis membranes. Millions of people can get purified water by the help of membrane technology. And also uh, dialysis membranes, probably you have heard it before. Uh, by using dialysis membranes, we can um, care the survival of a large amount of people suffering from kidney diseases and also nowadays it is most popular in gas separation uh, separation of uh, acidic gases like carbon dioxide from fluid gas from natural gas and hydrocarbon separation as well or oxygen enrichment uh, hydro, uh, hydrogen production etc purification etc so what's the importance of membrane technology for the planet Membrane technology is a promising method uh, for the separation of water, gaze, and also organic solvent. And we use it, uh, their efficiency is very high especially. Uh, it has some uh, advantages than other conventional methods such as distillation, extraction, etc. And we need low energy by using membrane technology. And uh, we can separate uh, 
gases and water with high efficiency by using membrane. For example, for separation of fluid gases, natural gases, if we, can, if we find a proper membrane material, therefore we can easily separate these uh, greenhouse gases, probably the temperature rise will drop and eventually, I hope, the, these disasters will be diminished, natural disasters.